What's the Israel-Palestine conflict about? The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has claimed tens of thousands of lives and displaced many millions of people, and has its roots in a colonial act carried out more than a century ago. With Israel declaring war on the Gaza Strip after an unprecedented attack by the armed Palestinian group Hamas on Saturday, the world's eyes are again sharply focused on what might come next. Hamas fighters have killed more than 800 Israelis in assaults on multiple towns in southern Israel. In response, Israel has launched a bombing campaign in the Gaza Strip, killing more than 500 Palestinians. It has mobilized troops along the Gaza border, apparently in preparation for a ground attack. And on Monday, it announced a total blockade of the Gaza Strip, stopping the supply of food, fuel, and other essential commodities to the already besieged enclave in an act that under international law amounts to a war crime. But what unfolds in the coming days and weeks has its seed in history. For decades, Western media outlets, academics, military experts, and world leaders have described the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as intractable, complicated, and deadlocked. What was the Balfour Declaration? More than 100 years ago, on November 2, 1917, Britain's then Foreign Secretary, Arthur Balfour, wrote a letter addressed to Lionel Walter Rothschild, a figurehead of the British Jewish community. The letter was short, just 67 words, but its contents had a seismic effect on Palestine that is still felt to this day. It committed the British government to the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and to facilitating the achievement of this object. The letter is known as the Balfour Declaration in essence, a European power promised the Zionist movement, a country where Palestinian Arab natives made up more than 90% of the population. A British mandate was created in 1923 and lasted until 1948. During that period, the British facilitated mass Jewish immigration. Many of the new residents were fleeing Nazism in Europe, and they also faced protests and strikes. Palestinians were alarmed by their country's changing demographics and British confiscation of their lands to be handed over to Jewish The settlers. years after the Nakba. At least 150,000 Palestinians remained in the newly created state of Israel and lived under a tightly controlled military occupation for almost 20 years before they were eventually granted Israeli citizenship. Egypt took over the Gaza Strip. 